What's up guys, Benaniac here. I'm here at the Woodstock Fruit Festival with my friend Chris Randall. Um, now Chris, dude, you've lost like a ton of weight, man, haven't you? <laughs> Somewhere's around a ton. Yeah, 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 yeah approximately. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about like your story and kind of like how, how you did it, man? It's, it's amazing, yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, when I was about 16 years old, I reached my peak weight of 330 pounds or so, and just I was doing the same thing day in, day out, eating lots of pulled pork and barbecue ribs and steak and eggs for breakfast, and that's standard Midwestern yep. fare. I grew up in South Dakota in the United States, yep. and it definitely wasn't conducive to my well-being. Mm -hmm. Severely overweight, really terrible, horrible acne, asthma, sinus congestion, just not doing as good as I could have been. And so one day, just looking in the mirror, frustrated yeah. with myself, decided, hey, something's got to give, something's got to change, and it's got to be the food that I'm eating on a daily basis. Right. And and so, just intuitively from there, I just switched it up and went from eating, you know, my pulled pork and everything to basically a low-fat, plant-based vegan diet. Yeah, nice. Didn't know what the word vegan meant or anything like that. I literally didn't. Yeah. And but I just decided, you know, hey, people aren't getting fat from eating baked potatoes and steamed rice. Oh, right. They're putting all sorts of chicken and butter and bacon bits and cheese on it. And just went from there. Went to a starch-based vegan diet with, with plenty yeah. of fruits and vegetables. Yeah. And then from there. Got into more into raw and you know high carb fruit, uh, raw fruit and everything, right. and just kind of taken off since then. Nice man. Now, like I gotta ask you, dude, and be honest here, were you doing like a ton of exercise, like running marathons? Like you know, people will say, you know, calories in, calories out. Like, what's the deal? You know. Yeah, well, there's a couple questions there, I guess. You know, calories in, calories out, yeah. exercise. Man, when you're 330 pounds or you're 200 pounds, 220 pounds, whatever it is, you're not going to be running marathons. You're not going to be able to go yeah. do all these different things. I started by taking my dog for walks around the block. Nice, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then when I was, you know, started losing a little bit more weight and it was more, a little more comfortable for yeah. me, uh, I got like a, you know, $60 Walmart bicycle or something like that. And I could go out for bike yeah. rides, you know, for. 20 minutes at a time, nice. things like that. And so, you know, easy walking and cycling <clears throat> for most people are good uh, you know, to get into fitness because nice. it's easier on the joints, easier on your legs, and, and everything like that. Um, so that's really all I got started from there. And now yeah. I can run. Now I can run a 10k or ride my bike nice, all man. day long nice. and stuff like that. But it's you have to be conscious of where you're starting. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> the calories in, calories out. It's it's much more about the quality of the, the calories that you're eating right. and what those are doing to your body. Yeah. You know, it is all the difference. So, you know, 2,000 calories worth of bacon and, and cheese omelets is going to be a lot different than 2,000 calories worth of steamed potatoes yeah. and, and bananas or something yeah, like that. So I've definitely seen that experience, experience that hand hand yeah. you know, handle. Nice. Long, so, yeah. so like taking maybe baby steps and working your way up to like you know starting maybe with a walk like you said yeah. into like a jog and then. Yeah. Run, yeah, nice. And like, how long did it take you to lose the weight, man? Like, yeah, yeah. This was about a period of about two and a half years or so. Yeah. Two, two and a half years. Yeah. And uh, which is relatively, it's a good, sustainable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, so It was about 150 pounds of fat uh, that I shed off since yeah. then. And, um, yeah, about a good two, two and a half years or so nice. is what it was, and so, you know, it's not going to be an overnight thing. I didn't gain it overnight. Yeah. I was fat all my whole life. Dude, you did it natural, yeah. man. No supplements, no nothing. So, yeah. yeah good quality, whole plant foods. That's sick, man. Vegan awesome. Man. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And uh, where can people find you to hear more of your story and uh, what you got? Yeah, people can find me on my website at uh, www.realrawresults.com. Nice. Uh, or youtube.com slash realrawresults. But on my website, they can hit up my personal or my business email there. They can get a hold of me, contact me, check out whatever, whatever I'm up to. And uh, that's the best place to get me at. Cool, man. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview. It's good, Tina. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. All right. Peace out, guys. Cheers.